Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am going to start creating a different kind of charts in Power BI. So uh, this is the first video where I will create the stacked column charts. So uh, stacked column charts are generally uh, we use when we wanted to see the different categories on this same column charts. Okay. So let's start that. Let's uh, load the data. So for loading the data, either you need to go to the get data section or uh, if you have the Excel sheet, you just click to the Excel workbook and the uh, uh, the data set you, you need to select, you can select any uh, data set which uh, the type is the Excel. So I am taking the global superstore data and you just need to the open, click the open button here. The data will start loading. So this global superstore data have a three tables here. For now, I will take or uh, load the only order data. So just click uh, the load button from here and it will start loading the data so within a few seconds uh, the data will be loaded into your environment and uh, you can see the table inside the field section okay so it will be appear here and all the columns uh, which belong to this table will be presented here and another option if you wanted to see what kind of data you have it you just need to go this right section uh, the data tab you will see all the different uh, columns which belong to a specific table so right now the data is loaded uh, let's go and see that what columns we have it so here you can see we have category city country so uh, just let's uh, go first and see the data here okay so uh, you can see like it have the row id order id order date ship date ship mode different customer name segment and those kind of things okay so for today i will try to take the order date and uh, uh the category here actually uh uh i have a two three category i think this data have two three categories uh, let's see the category yeah so this data have two three category one is the office supplier uh, and uh, furniture technology and uh, we have a quantity so this quantity column so what i will try to uh, do that i will try to create a graph of the different quarters of a specific starting from some 2012 to 2014 or 15 and uh, each quarter i will try to see what is the total quantity we have sold for a specific category so let's start that so for that you just go to the chart section the visualization section and you will see the second option which is called stacked column charts you just need to click it here so uh, and just increase the size of the phone uh, i mean the size of the chart and you can see the x axis y axis and legend is coming so for the x axis we need the order date so put the order date into the x axis and uh, we need a quantity right the total quantity so put the quantity into the y axis the total quantity sell at a, a quarter level and then we want to take the category into the legend right so we have the, some category here so cut, just put the category into the legend okay so you can see the chart is appearing here but by default is a uh, date wise like you can see the one two three four starting date of january in quarter one 2012 and i think uh, this will be from uh 2012 to some uh, in 2015 I think 2015 till the 2015 will be there okay so uh, let's let's first uh, create the quarter level data so for that uh, what you need to do either you can go from here and rearrange everything like re you can remove the date you can remove the month so it will come to the quarter wise year wise Otherwise, if you see these arrows like drill up arrows, drill down arrows. So drill down means like if you have the quarter wise, year wise data, it will be go to more drill down into the days, month, that kind of thing. 
so for here we already have the uh, uh, date wise data and we wanted to have in the quarter wise so that we can have the better visualization for each quarter and uh, to have the stack column chart clearly visible for us so just click the drill down it will go to one level up so now you can see it's uh, like uh, month wise data is appearing and uh, let's do one more time uh, the drill up and now you can see this is the quarter level data is coming right so the in 2012 uh, starting from the quarter one to the quarter four and it goes up to 2015 till the quarter four okay so this is a stacked column chart uh represent in the different colors but now we can't see each and everything we can't we don't know that like uh, what is this color indicate what these values are we can see in the y section some of the total quantity uh, for all the uh, all the column charts but clearly we don't know that until or unless we are hovering our mouse here so for that just let's do some kind of a uh, basic formatting into the charts okay so just need to click this chart go to the x axis this visualization section so the first section will be where you will see all kind of charts seconds is the second tab is the format your visuals so let's go here and in the x-axis it's on everything just keep that x-axis on this is the x-axis right so uh, let's to change the format so my favorite format is calibri uh, and make the font size is 12 so that can be visible clearly uh, make this color is the black one okay and uh, let's go to the title section if you want to title keep as on otherwise keep as off so if we know that is the date time so we don't need to the make the quarters only so let's keep as it is no need to show the titles go to the y axis and you can see the range here minimum start from auto maximum start from auto you can specifically define the range like it you want to minimum zero or maximum some value okay for but for now let's keep as it is uh, we go to the values we'll change the font size to 12 and the color to the black so this is also change and it's clearly visible title if you wanted to sum up the quantity yeah i think this is uh, important because how do we know that what is the y values what, what this colors represent that so just keep it on like uh, some of the quantities present here we want to the legend yes we want to the legend uh, but which place so the position the preferred choice for me is like uh, uh, top right uh, it's because that if we have some kind of word starting from this site especially from the left then the category or uh, uh, the legion will be clearly visible at the different side okay and uh, we have the different text format let's go and create again uh, into the calibri and uh, 12 so that's clearly visible color will be the black only and then title if you want to the category yes otherwise no let's keep as s uh grid lines no need to do anything zoom slider if you wanted to apply the zoom slider keep it on otherwise keep it off let's go to the columns and change the colors okay so for this one i will be uh let's take as it is for the second uh, let's take this one actually okay and for the second i need uh, I'm taking this yellow color and for third for the technology I will take this is the color okay so uh, you can change the color of, of all those three types of uh, categories and then we don't need to worry about the spacing data levels obviously we need to make them on to clearly look the data so if you keep it off the data level nothing is visible there you can just see the colors and you can have some uh, overall values based on this sum up to quantity but if you keep it on at least you can see the data so 
in the 2015 the quarter 4 uh, this color indicate like technology right so the uh, this purple color indicate the technology so technology is the 4k around 4259 uh, quantity has been sold in this quarter and uh, this yellow color indicate the office supplier around 13k uh, i mean quantity has been sold okay and similarly for uh, the furniture right furniture around four key quantity has been sold in this quarter okay and after that you don't need to make any other changes here go to the general the second thing and uh, we can see the title if you want to keep it so just to write the name of the title it's up to you uh make into the middle so it looks nice increase the font size so that clearly visible okay and then second option of uh, you just need to have a border actually so if you wanted to give the background so you can also assign that right now it's a white background nothing will say so let's keep see with this background and increase some transparency like 18 20 percent just keep the visual borders on okay so the column uh, stacked column chart has been uh, created here so this is the way to create a stacked column chart and uh, if you like uh, my video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel thanks for the watching in the next video uh, i'm going to create the same way for the stacked bar chart okay so keep watching and keep tuning yourself thank you very much